All right, all right, all right, all right. Abraham, how you doing tonight? I'm doing well. How are you? Hello? I'm awesome. Oh, okay. Uh, you know what I need from you? What? What I need for you from you is um I want you are you are you doing open stack and open shift? What's your what what are you doing at Red Hat now? Uh when you say doing, what do you mean? I'm installing. I'm selling it. Installing. Installing uh, Well No, I'm not installing anymore. I'm on the sales side now. That's all good. That's even better. So sales engineering or sales or technical account yep. management. Engineering, yeah, I'm a, I'm a solutions architect. All right, so can you please inform those that are on the line? Um, what does that consist of in terms of technical skills and um, so technical skills and soft skills, and what is the actual role actually doing for OpenStack? And okay, so. Uh, let's. I guess we'll start with OpenStack. Um, uh, uh, introduce yourself. I oh, I'm, I am Abraham Snell. I am a senior solutions architect with Red Hat for the public sector. So OpenStack is a is an open source. Um, it's a set of open source um, products that, when brought together. Um, they allow you to create um, a cloud native environment. And, and I say cloud native, it's not truly cloud native. You need other things to run containers, for instance. Um, but before you know, containers became a thing, say you wanted to um, pull in, you know, you got several servers and those servers can be heterogeneous, meaning you can have some HP servers, and they can be running, you know, various for, um, versions of Linux or other operating systems. <clears throat> OpenStack allows you to pull all of those servers uh, into um, a cluster or, cl or groups of clusters, and and then you can use that compute power to run virtual machines, do virtualization. That's basic. That's just basically it in a nutshell, right? So, um, OpenShift allow allow people to create these, um, you know, mega farms of virtualization where they had all kinds of compute power. Uh, I want to say, NASA. I know NASA was one of the uh, founder members, and I'm trying to think of the other company that worked with NASA to create this uh, this technology. Is that what you were looking for, um, Tamika? It's, I just wanted people to understand uh, so different positions in tech, right? So tonight okay. we brought you um, someone who's an entrepreneur in tech, someone who's a sales engineer in tech, someone who is actually doing the install, and then you also have cybersecurity. But again, your your foundational skills, your basics, your concepts are still these things that you need to have as you move in in and out of these these particular positions. So, but I, I I'm also giving this to you because I want you to make an informed decision. Remember, I said technology is a technology. Uh, you have to look at it from as a technology pie. If you take a sliver off, you got sales engineering. You take another sliver sliver off, you got architecture. You have uh, cybersecurity, and then you can slice up cybersecurity into multiple little things. Um, I talked to somebody cool. last night about Splunk. Uh, Splunk has 12 different disciplines in it, right? So it's just being able to understand, like, hey, here are your, here's tech, here are your options. I want you to be informed. I want you to have people that you can go to. And I want you to have people that you can reach out and they're tangible that you could talk to before you make your decision in that. I don't want yeah. you to be around here paying thirty thousand dollars for a boot camp and then you can't get a job after you go to the boot camp. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Okay, I got you. I understand now. Please do not pay thirty thousand dollars for a boot camp. And and so one of the things I will say, since since a lot of what my company does is is 
is hybrid cloud. Um, so, you know, if, and, I, and I'm actually teaching, uh, I'm, a, I'm an adjunct at, a, at, a, at an HBCU here in town, and I'm teaching the a cloud compute class. And one of the things to, you know, she really, you know, Tamika really made a really good point about tech. Um, because what I'm teaching in this course is understanding, you know, that we're taking what is a compute, an enterprise compute environment, and we're basically putting that in a box somewhere. We call that, you know, cloud. <clears throat> and so when you start to work in cloud native environments, you don't necessarily have to deep dive into any one of these places. But you, you need to start to understand enterprise computing. And when I talk about enterprise computing, it comprises a lot of these big areas like security, uh, networking, uh, system administration, which is basically OS and storage based. Uh, sometimes there's storage that's just broken out and you can be a storage engineer. Um, you also need to um, uh, understand develop development and how those development processes um, can be um, can be leveraged in cloud environments. Um, so, but even with that being said, you know, this new idea of DevOps or DevSecOps now, um, you don't have to, you don't have to necessarily be deep in all of these subjects. You just need to understand the enterprise because I don't want to scare anybody. You just, but Understanding the enterprise is not as hard as you might think. It is not really that complicated, uh, but you do need to be really good in whatever space you choose to work with. Uh, and and if you choose a space, um, I would say learn cloud anyway. Learn what learn what that actually means and and how your particular space uh, is connected to the cloud because that is modern computing. Um, it is getting um it, it's here to stay so i've been you know in tech world for oh god 24 years um and you kind of see trends come and go but there are some things that stick like virtualization uh, when it came it kind of came to stay and now you know we're realizing that next move of, of virtualization combined with a whole bunch of automation and uh, that's what's given us this cloud space, self-service. The idea that you can spin up your own resources. It used to be, you know, you had to have very specialized people to spin up a server and run a server. Now you can spin up uh, a resource that's a server that already has your app running on it or your database running on it, and you use it as long as you need to, and then you spin it down or may never even use it again. Um, and so just, you know, um, bring you know cloud kind of brings together this conglomeration of all of these um areas of computing again you don't have to be a specialist in all these areas um but if you don't under i mean if you understand cloud you are setting yourself up for moving into another position now you know with that being said please 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 don't go out and spend thousands of dollars trying to get a cloud certification or something like that. Um, there are a lot of ways that you can gain knowledge in those spaces. Um, and I don't know if they're still running these programs, but people like Google and Amazon were offering um, certification classes for in the tens of dollars, not thousands of dollars. And so, you know, just a word to the wise, I would stick to those well-known players when when trying to learn a space and, and and that goes back somebody earlier said research is key um that goes back to you doing your research in a particular space um i feel like i'm talking too much tamika is is this answering anybody's question <laughs> it does so let's ask this when um uh, when you are uh, as a sales engineer what made you roll into from the technical side to being uh, a sales engineer? What made well, you say, I want to be a sales engineer? Uh, I'm still very much technical. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling to learn all this sales stuff. 
and I, and I now know why I've never been in sales before. But I mean, it's a lifestyle for some people. But um, for me, uh, I had been uh, on the support side uh, or you know the engineering side for twenty for twenty two years, and you know I was I was ready to not be carrying a pager and. You know, just different. I was ready for a new challenge, and I, and, I'm, and I was ready to not just be hands on keyboard, but to also uh, enable people to do things. And so I wanted to talk about the tech uh, as much as learn about the tech. So I, I still enjoy learning about the tech, but I am not as motivated to 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 be uh, hands on keyboard, um, especially as my day in and day out job. So I have a lab at my house where I, you know, build things and and, and try things, but um, no longer am I stuck um, kind of solving problems for others. And when I say stuck, that's my terminology. Um, for many years of my life, it was like crack for me to solve problems, you know, and, and some of you probably know that, like, when you fix that thing or install that thing or do that thing, it was like, yeah, that's it. But, you know, after years of doing that, I was kind of ready for a different lifestyle. And and what the sales engineer, or we call him solution architect, what that position offers is I still have the ability to listen to customers um, based on our portfolio, pull together solutions. So, you know, um, my one of my, Clients used to be CDC, right? So CDC uh, at at that or you know last year during COVID, they were really trying to do development work very quickly um, because they were trying to develop tracking uh, apps and they were trying to develop apps um, that did a lot of a uh, a uh, code gene splicing, code splicing, things like that. Uh, I guess yeah, gene splicing. And so what they needed were what we offer are platforms that allow them to do that quickly. OpenShift is one of them. And so you get a chance to kind of talk about the technology. Um, but now, when if they say, yes, I want to buy it, I don't have to install it. I don't have, I'm, there are other people now that do that kind of thing. Uh, and if they say, we need help doing this, there's a services team. and who again are other people that get to go and spend you know three months at the cdc um doing that and all of those people are important for me you know based on the question tamika asked for me i was just kind of tired of being behind the keyboard and being on call and, and those those different aspects of those other positions now um i i am so thankful for those positions because um you know, as you think about going to get a job, one of the things that I I would say to to potential job seekers, um, because so many people now want to be coders and, and different things like that, and there's so many aspects to, to, to technology. But I would say figure out how you're gonna add value, and getting a job won't be an issue because that's that's the main thing you know we often think that if i just get this certification um i'll be good but if you get a certification and you still don't know what you're doing um you're not going to add value to anybody and yeah a certificate a certification can get you in the door maybe you can get your resume pulled but there's nothing like talking through a process of because of, i believe somebody said it earlier when you know something you just know it and people know you know it, right? Versus just throwing out terminology. Um, uh, and so I am not poo pooing certifications. I have certifications. What I'm saying is figure out ways to play. And, and you might not want to invest in a lab in your house, but you might want to invest some money in spinning up some, some resources on Amazon or on uh, Azure or one of the other, you know, um, um, cloud services where you actually play with some of the stuff and 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 crash it and make it fail and whatever that's from a technical standpoint um in other words have some kind of experience behind it so when you go to you know into these environments you add value and i know that was a turn off of my 
why did I get into the sales side? Um, and then the final reason I got into the sales side is uh, they gave me more money than I could turn down. So uh, that's always good. <laughs> <laughs> Very good reason. Very good reason. I would have done this years ago. Yo, yo, uh, yeah, sales engineering. It, I've, I've, I've heard it's very lucrative. Um, that range that, uh, that was given four to three to eight is, uh, is uh, along that lines. Um, for sales too, depending on where you're at. Um, so I just. Throwing, I'm throwing options out there. I don't just do this for the money, uh, but the money is awesome. Okay, so I mean, you know, it. it you, I want to enjoy my job. I mean, it, hopefully, Abraham, I don't do it for the money either. But you know, <laughs> they gonna give it to me. Um, you know, but who am I to deny them such pleasures? <laughs> Right. <laughs> uh, so that's that's my take. So, uh, are if, if you got more questions, uh, please ask um, Abraham. I don't think you're in our Slack, are you? I I am not. You you invited me, but I didn't I didn't have a chance to join yet. Sounds like a sales engineer. Um, <laughs> Wasn't it very politically correct? <laughs> Sound like a sales that you invited me, but I haven't had a chance to join four years ago. She gave me this. <laughs> <laughs> so what what do what do you think about data science? Uh, what about it? Uh, what what part of data science you mean as a career? Because there's data science, there's data engineering. Um, there's starts pushing into AI and machine learning. Um, so a little bit more detail on that. And then Salesforce certs, they go a long way, just like, you know, the, the depending on uh, who's using it, um, a lot of back end. I mean, you'd be surprised. I mean, what, what just, was it just two years ago, uh, the back end for Amazon was Oracle. So, uh, you know, it, it you, when you're looking at these things, you have to look at who the who their customer base is and, and how do you see yourself in that. Um, a little little FYI, um, on 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 the government side, Oracle has a partnership with with um with a with Microsoft, uh, and they were working on a partnership with Amazon. So if they ever if either one of them ever want a government contract, they can get in on either way. So again, you have to look at consider the source. Billionaires take care of billionaires. They're gonna always be billionaires. They're gonna always keep money with them. Why we can't do the same? Keep your money with us. You know what I'm saying? Keep the money with, with us. Just, just, just what it is. Um, the other thing I want to uh, address is I said last night there'll be a giveaway, right? So you all made it. You made it to uh, the two hundred dollar giveaway tonight. Uh, I've been noticing that it went down from 54 to 31. Hey, my, that's not my fault. So let's uh let's 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 get that 200 away tonight. Um, I'm going to um throw some questions out there to see who's been paying attention. Um, and uh, let's go. Uh, uh. I'd suggest you turn on your microphones because um, I'm not going to read the chat um, for these answers. Uh, and let's go from there. Uh, are you ready? Mm -hmm. type, uh, look, type a three in the chat if you're ready. <laughs> but you don't have your um, Jeopardy music queued up? Oh, let me get that. Wait, yeah, you know, yeah. Let me get my music going. Elizabeth, you like this music cool. while her team is working through problems at work. <laughs> so shitty. What was what was that? <laughs> you, you Elizabeth, you tight a four. Her her Jeopardy music. She plays it for her team while they're figuring out problems at work and they're too slow. <laughs> no, they was like they was like, hey, what's a good joke? Somebody tell a joke, so I I put the music on. Thank you. 
All right. Take my headphones off. And then have Jeopardy for one of our um, anniversary events too. Yeah. All right. So y'all, are y'all ready? Mm-hmm. Uh, yo, Mike, want to turn on Mario? Man, Mario, um, you know what? You need to get off of that Windows laptop. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. You around here running running on a Windows laptop? Get off Windows Seven. It probably won't on even work with uh what we got going on. I'll just play it with you. Okay. All right. So I see uh one, two, three, four, five mics muted. Does that mean everybody else six? Uh does that mean everybody else is asleep and not here? Uh they're just uh just here and, and not wanting to talk or what what have you. They don't want no bread. They don't want no bread. Is that what it is, Tyler? <laughs> <laughs> little mic shot, that's all. You're not playing with me. I'm not having it. <laughs> <laughs> what, they don't want no bread. They, they don't want to eat tonight. They don't want to eat tonight. And and and, and this is not two hundred dollars out of women and linens. This out my own pocket. I'm being, you know, I'm, I'm out here trying to get you going. So, um, my questions, my questions. Why are you asking questions? Why are you asking questions? All right. The first one is, and um, you let me know uh, who did what, who 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 called that out? Because I'm just gonna go down the line. Let me get my blank sheet out so I can uh, tabulate as well too. Oh, okay. So a good thing to do as well to help me as well. Like when you call it out, put also put like the number five in the chat so I can at least see an order and so that'll help us out because hey this is audio because nobody has their video on because I so I can't see any faces so we have to do what works so along with the voice response you need to tap, type a five in the chat do you know how many questions I asked Sam? Hmm? how many well, questions um I'm thinking five questions Okay. And we fold it right. She's gonna make y'all work for this little money. <laughs> oh, Dion, you know what, Dion? You, you should go on mute. Oh, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, because this since this money is so little. Please mute <laughs> you. <laughs> well, you don't want no help then. <laughs> All right. Uh Hold on, I'm writing them down. Hold on. And it's not like literally little. I can do a lot with two hundred dollars, but I'm not. I'm not eligible. All right. So the first question is, um, who was the first speaker for tonight, and what was their field? Who was the first speaker for tonight and what was their field outside of me? Just talk. Oh, I didn't hear anybody call anything <laughs> out. I just Re That's yeah. Reginald Campbell, of course. Reginald mm -hmm. Campbell, senior yeah. manager for Survey Monkey. All right. All right. That's All Tara right. K. All right. That's Tara K. Let me put down Tara K on it. Tara K on it. Yeah. Everybody else, everybody. Y'all must have fell asleep. <laughs> I'm like, I don't hear no voices. <laughs> Why are you asking questions? All right. Question um, two. Question two is, what is an SLI? Service level agreement. Service level indicator. Oh, what was that? Um, Jonathan. Jonathan. All right. We might have to break this one up. Tara, you need to be on it. You you too slow. <laughs> All right. All right. So All right. The next question is what what is RMF? Risk management framework. 
Who there, Rico? Yeah, Rico. Okay, okay. Rico. Okay. You're on question four. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Here's another one. I wasn't on tonight, but I said it last night. Where is Tamika originally from? Atlanta, Georgia. Who was that? Alabama? Atlanta, Georgia, old Atlanta. And this is Brandy Moses. Because <laughs> I'm from old Atlanta. Boom, get it right. <laughs> oh goodness okay so this is it's right now it is like anybody's ball game right now um i can say i don't want to just you know be a killer crab but like two of you guys answer but you guys didn't put the number five on um, in the <laughs> chat so um she might have to add a number six for like a tiebreaker, but I'm gonna let her go to five and just reiterate the rules that you you call it out and you you know tap five in the chat. All right. Okay. 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 Oh, that's one. Um. What is Charles' role at Netflix? Netflix. Yeah, it's up. I'm gonna count to five. Hiring manager, cybersecurity. What? Yeah, it's up. Who? Somebody was yelling. Who is that? <laughs> The baby. Oh, who's the first part? So what? Let's go with Rico's answer because he was number one. Everybody kind of yelled. I'm gonna call, call it a tie because uh, somebody said hiring manager, which was true, and Rico. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's a tie. So we're gonna go with Rico. And who was the other person? Me, Tara, hiring manager, Netflix. Tara K. Tara K. All right, Rico and Tara K. All right. So right now it is uh again. Tara. Uh, it, it's it's kind of like a shade tie because one of them, two of them didn't put it in there, but it's, we, this is our tiebreaker right here. Yeah, and yeah, so we're we're going to. Um, do you want to do it between two people or the whole group? You know what? I'm feeling froggy tonight. We're gonna do the first round between Tara K and Rico, right? Mm -hmm. And then we'll do the last round between Brandy and Jonathan. So Brandy, everybody else, mute your mics, and we're gonna go between Rico and Tara K. And then um, Rico and Tara K, you can leave your mics unmuted. And then after that, we'll do the other round with uh, Brandy and Jonathan. Okay. Hmm, All right. That's not on my scoreboard. Are you giving away some more money? Yeah. Oh, okay. I know I can give away a class. It's okay. Oh, okay. I'm just curious. Yep, I got a class. I see a number four four five eight four nine four seven seven just checked in. How you doing? All right, Rico and Tara K. How y'all doing tonight? How you feeling? Round, you know, final round. Any words? Any thoughts for the people? I'm gonna just jump out there and say thank you because I'm gonna win. <laughs> yes, she is. Yes, she is. Ooh, Rico, she got, ooh, in your face. I got faith in you, Tara. Right, go for it. <laughs> ooh, in your face. He, he, right now, right now, she's Steph Curry. All right. All right, last question is, let's see. Um, let's go ports and protocols. <laughs> <laughs> I could. Voice and protocols of 500 hours. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, let me think on it real quick. I'm trying to get something that I know that you heard last night and I know that you heard tonight. I wasn't here last night. 
that's, that's what I'm saying. That's why it's got to be fair for both parties. Um, so let me think on it. Y'all, y'all encourage them while I let me write this down. Can we get some music? <laughs> oh, hold on. What kind of music? The Jeopardy, the Jeopardy music. Okay. okay. All right. All right. I'm about to be the DJ. It's at 1016. All right. Hold on. Oh, okay, I got it. All right, you ready? You got two ready? We ready, we ready. All right, Rico and Tara K. What were the three reasons Abraham chose sales engineering? He actually didn't choose it. It kind of chose him. First of start, they were paying well. Second of start, he was tired of being at uh, keyboard. And uh, third thing was he had the experience and it was available to him. That was a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> no, it ain't. Run me my money. No, it ain't. You let out. You let out an invalid question. It didn't, he didn't choose it. It chose him. So, I need dribble. I know you can do it. I love your passion, but he did give three reasons. Abraham, hold on. Abraham on the phone. Abraham, is that correct? Abraham. Abraham, you play too much. Abraham. <laughs> you know, I, everybody's always looking for the mute button. Bueller. Yeah. Uh, girl, I, I lost the whole app for a moment. I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Um, did I give three reasons? <laughs> you know what? Yes, you did. <laughs> you know what, Tara? You won. Tara K, you Tara. won. Woo! Mm -hmm. Yay! Yay, me. All right. Critical of you. I love the way you answered that question. <laughs> you get your 200, your 200. Hey, uh, drop your cash app for us, uh, Tara. You can send it to me or to Mika directly or the organizers in the chat. Yep, yep. Thank you. You're welcome. So this, you. this next gift is one is actually the one of the things that I was going to give to um, that I was giving to Erica last night. Um, oh. This is um, this is a a then Tara, I think you have it. Um, Tara, New Orleans is who I'm speaking of. Um, Safari book. Yep, yep, yep. So, so Safari books online. Um, can you speak on it a little bit? Uh, I know you use it. What are your thoughts on it? How has it helped you out at all? <laughs> That's my daughter. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been really helpful with. I'll just say that I'm, I really appreciate all the ideas and all the, the concepts that are thrown out that, you know, like I've been attending for a while now, um, the meetup and, and, and watching the Slack and learning things. And um, what happens with this, this, uh, this O'Reilly subscription is that there's so much information available <laughs> that, that the, like these, there are these opportunities to, delve into it more to um, to get more exposure. For instance, the um, Tamika was talking about Red Hat. Now there's this cat on the top right here. Red Hat certified engineer crash course, right? I haven't hit that one yet, but um, he does a he does a couple of Linux based Linux uh, Linux courses. Mm -hmm. Thank you, baby. That are just like that just really in you know, it's like it's it's other it's other level. It's like wow, you know. Um, so, and then like, and it's not just Linux. Is it's also like, you know, like I might I'm checking out Python. I'm checking out um, various cloud things. I'm checking out, you know, I'm just like data, data engineering, data, per, you know, just front end React. I can do some reading about. I can I can take a class on React. To try to get those my skills those skills out. So um, yeah, and it, the difference and I mean like and and the good thing is the beautiful thing about it is 
that there's not, you know, like I feel I feel like with things like Coursera and a lot of the a lot of the um, Audacity, a lot of those, it's just like the information is either really kind of basic um, and not necessarily not not necessarily helpful in like in a in a like in a more far-reaching, more advanced way, I guess. Um, and this and this is just like you've got some place to start. You're either directed to be to be like, okay, if you're missing this information, if you're missing fundamentals, here's where to go. Here's next. Here's the next place to go. But it's like it, it, these concepts build on top of each other, and you know, it's, and the other thing is, it's also really good to see somebody talking about what they do. Like they're, you know, it's like I can read. I can, you know, like look at YouTube videos or whatever, but just like to see like vetted folks who are at the top of their game and Hi. talking about Hi. talking about some of the stuff has just been like, okay, you know, like I know what you said, and yeah, I don't know, it's just like it's a whole other level. That that's I think I've talked enough. I'm thank you. <laughs> I'm excited. I, I yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. So I, I've been using Safari for I don't know, probably like. 10, 12 years now. I got grandfathered into this new um this new platform that they have. Um and I, you know, I just want to share it with you all um who win tonight. So I do have my question. And uh I'm gonna play the little music and um uh, go from there. So tonight the last question and this is between brandy and jonathan um are you ready ready yeah you, are you sure i oh, don't that sounds so oh yeah <laughs> yeah you know, i get it you've been on here a long time i'm hoping for the best i'm hoping for the best hoping for the best yes oh. hoping hoping i know the question you're saying okay <laughs> all right jonathan you ready I'm ready. Let's go. All right. What company did Dion just recently get a job at? And then there was silence. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> No, Jonathan, you got it. <laughs> I can't remember. You got it, Jonathan. I'm gonna say Netflix. I don't know. Nobody listens to me. <laughs> Ever. Nobody listens. The rapper, the mad D. What is it? <laughs> Nobody listens. So you take a you take a next place for eight hundred. Yeah, I'm doing Netflix 500. I'm not even doing eight. I'm doing Netflix 500. <laughs> I love this question. I was like, they ain't gonna remember this. Yeah, I don't remember that. <laughs> I was cooking in the middle of it, so I guess not. <laughs> Jonathan, I know you've been on. You've been here. You you know. In anybody? Oh, y'all want a lifeline? I'm gonna give you a lifeline. I can't even go back. That's the thing about it. I tried to go back in the chat, and it kicked me off in the beginning, so I can't even go back. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna give y'all one lifeline. You gotta pick one person. Pick one person. Brandy, pick one person. I'm picking Tara for my lifeline if she's still here. Which one, Tara K or Tara T? Uh, uh, hold on, <laughs> Tara K, because she she wrote down some stuff. I know that already. Tara K, she, you've been called upon. What what's your answer? Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I was trying to donate. <laughs> what's the question again? I'm sorry. The question was, what was Dion's job that he just that she that just, just got? What company? What company did she say she just got a job at? Oh my goodness! And Dion is AKA D. D. Oh, see, I saw y'all scrolling on the Red Hat website. I was already spending my money. Wait a minute. Was it the Red Hat? I think Red Hat. No. Oh, that's not it. Lifeline lost. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey, hey. sorry, hun. That's okay. <laughs> I was trying to donate. I saw the PayPal link. All right. 
Jonathan, <laughs> don't don't stop there. Go on and click the go on and go on and do the donate now. Go on and do that now. <laughs> go on and do don't look go on now. Go on. <laughs> All right, Jonathan, you get a lifeline. Who you picking? I choose you as a lifeline. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's so wrong. That's wrong. Oh, you can't, no restrictions. You can't choose me. I'm sorry. So did he leave, did he lose his lifeline? No, he did he, he just say <laughs> because I got another lifeline I could go with. Jonathan, pick a lifeline outside of me and D. Okay. I suggest uh, you go with a member of the existing group. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's my lifeline. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Music. I need the music because I, I got my next lifeline. Man. Okay. Is there is is there Tracy? Is she a person I could choose? She's not on here anymore. She's gone. Oh. Oh. Man, I'm just striking out. Yeah. Oh. That's too that's too many chances right there. We gave you. Oh, yeah, I would have hit her in the in slack. <laughs> so Brandon, one more lifeline, and then we're and then we're just gonna say y'all just want want on that. One more. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Rico. Rico, are you still here? Rico gone. Rico gone. Damn. Oh, Rico here. Really? Rico here. Yeah. We got a Rico rando. Bro, I just I just go. lost. Why would you choose me? Because you were listening just like I was. Maybe you maybe something stuck in your head. That didn't stick in my heart. Uh, I already told you Netflix for 800 k <laughs> <laughs> Do you do you does anybody on the board know? Was anybody paying attention to it? For Val? Maybe. That's my next choice. Is she still there? Cool. Yeah. Mm -mm. No, nobody, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Okay. Well, the answer is emphasis. What if we remember what if what if we remember like what she did before she got into tech? <laughs> uh -uh. Yeah, I could do that. I knew you would probably I know that one. I know what she did before she got into tech. No, so the answer was emphasis. Emphasis. Uh, emphasis. You remember? Do you remember her saying that? No. It's okay. It's now, yeah. It didn't ring a bell at all. Yeah, I said I took a class with Perscalis, and now I'm working with Emphasis. Mm -hmm. I tried. <laughs> it was worth a try. Thank you, though. I tried. I tried. I oh, thank you, though. On, um, what you got Saturday? Hmm. I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be back Saturday. Saturday at 8.30 a.m. We're going to be live on YouTube for Tech Stocks and Jobs. 8.30. Who's going to be at 8.30? I ain't going to be I yet. said 11.30. You said 8. a.m. <laughs> it's okay. That's <laughs> all I said. I'm tired. 11.30 a.m. We'll, we will be doing Tech Stocks and Jobs. If you have not caught that series, uh, the premise behind that series is to discuss uh all these companies that are fortune 500 companies these SPACs that are ipoing what is the technology behind them what are the jobs behind them um getting guests to come on to talk about hiring at those companies getting them before they ipo so you can get the equity so you can sh help shift and change that culture um that's the premise behind that so the stuff that you see that netflix is doing or these companies that acquire hiring and stuff like that you could be one of those companies you could work for one of those companies so that's the premise there um stop waiting to the companies or the big mammoth google and then we get in and we like oh man they don't like us and you're trying to change the culture man you can't change the culture because it's really too big to change and it just takes more than you so um, that's the premise behind that. And also, if you want to invest in that company, you know, here's what they're hiring for. Here's what they're looking at. Here's what they're looking for. So 
that is the premise behind that. I hope that helps. I hope that gives you uh, some clarity. I'm glad you stayed on. Congratulations to the winners. We've been going since seven o'clock. You have gotten a slew of information and connections. I hope you all follow everyone that's on that came on tonight that was a speaker or what have you. Uh, follow them on LinkedIn. Follow them on Twitter. You all should be following each other um, as well. So you have a point of contact. Um, and we're all about building communities. I hope you're not saddened because you didn't open up the command line tonight. I think you all got good information and good connections. Um, Charles will be back. Uh, he hit me up already and he was like, yo, I'm ready to get in and train. Um, same thing with Reginald. He's like, I'm ready to get in and train. What do we need to do? How do we need to shift the culture? Um, how do we need to set up uh, these training modules so you all can get certified, so you can get in, into these companies, so you can get trained? Um, that's what we're, we're about. I have not asked you for one dime, but your time. Your time is what I've asked you for. Um, it will always be that from my perspective. Um, I'm asked time. for money because we're a nonprofit. So the link is. When I say <laughs> that, <laughs> when I say that, Dion, I am speaking on the fact of, you know, charging you $30,000 for a boot camp. No. That's not okay. That's not okay. Oh, and we are um, on our road to 1,000 subscribers on uh, YouTube. So please go subscribe if you haven't. Uh, tell your friends. Uh, is the PayPal in Slack. The PayPal is right here above that. I'm going to link it again. Oh, yeah, it's right here. PayPal is here. I'm going to link that again. Um, it's our fifth year anniversary. We're going to be doing a lot of fun things. You guys missed the first, um, what did we do? We did a happy hour, but we're having one once a quarter. Um, we'll be doing a lot more learning stuff. Um, we'll be having some anniversary merch and stuff coming out, so I'm excited about that. But again, thank you, and I'm excited for everyone's journey. Um, make sure you note everybody that was here. Hit them up in Slack. No question is a dumb question. Um, my new slogan for the year is community drives conversation. So if we don't know what you want, we are going to drive that conversation for you. So show up and uh, let your voice be heard. Oh, and don't forget to go out and get you a ledger, uh, so we can uh, start doing some 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 satoshis, start start buying some chain links and stuff like that, you know, so we can start talking about cryptocurrency, this that another, uh, right? Yep, yep, it is a Bitcoin wallet, uh, so we can start talking about blockchain, blockchain and security. What's that look like? Um, that's another uh, uh, a a another thing that we need to do um we do have i do have some connections to some people who are lawyers that are uh into blockchain and writing smart contracts for lawyers and hospitals and doctors um we're gonna get into that we're gonna get into mining um and and have set jam sessions uh i i, I even thought about having like uh uh like a a, a just a a working session with a live DJ and um, thought about having drinks delivered to your house and food delivered to your house, like, you know, I don't know, a pizza or something like that, getting, you know, stuff delivered. Just, you know, hey, just, you know, getting into, you know, just keeping you fueled um, for the journey um, and being interactive. Um, I, I, I think we're the only ones out here that's actually doing live training like this. I haven't seen any live training on nobody else's stuff. I see presentations. I don't see live training. Um, invite your friends. Uh, don't keep the information for yourself. I, I encourage you to invite your friends um, and, and, and have them come on. Um, you know, even if you just like, hey, dog, just watch this video with me. <laughs> like, or send it to the YouTube so they can send you know they can do it on their own time because we are on East Coast time and everybody's time schedule is a little different. Yep. Texas unfortunately is under right now. Um, yeah, it's a start to anybody who's in Texas and you you're dropping. Uh, we apologize. 
uh, for the weather conditions out there. Um, and last but not least, next week, uh, we will have an OpenStack uh, OpenShift architect. He will come on and do live training. Um, he will also um, talk about it from a um, troubleshooting perspective. And um, he he's, he's like, hey, what can I do to get people certified, right? So we had the conversation earlier to, today. So we're looking at that. Um, I do have some connects over at um, at Facebook, especially when it comes out to building out data centers. So may bring in some people on like building out data centers. What does that look like for, for folks? Again, is still the baseline is Linux networking, security and troubleshooting. That's it. And then you can go vertical from there. So I'll catch y'all in Slack. If y'all have questions, hit me up in Slack. Um, as you see, I'm on all the time. So that's all I got for you. Congratulations to everybody. Good night. Good night. Thank Good you, Tao. Thank you. Thanks, Good night. Thank you. You're welcome.